Hey everybody, this is Travis Lima here from Stranger Studios. Today, I want to show you our Sitewide Sales plugin. So, once Sitewide Sales is installed and activated on your site, you should see an option similar to this. Now, to get started, all you need to do is click on the Sitewide Sales plugin and then click on this Add New button. Let's get started by entering a title for our sale. And just keep in mind that this is for reference only. So only you will be able to see this title and not your website visitors. So I'm gonna call this the end of year sale. And I'm gonna set this from December the 28th. So this is gonna be my start date, December the 28th, 2020. And I'm going to end it on January. Let's do January the 3rd, 2021. Great. So let me just explain a little bit about the sale start date and the sale end date and why it's important to select correct dates. So first up, if you select a start date and an end date, this is the period that your sales landing page will be activated in the sense of people will be able to visit this landing page and perform a checkout. Now, this is not all that is affected by this date, this sales start and end date. In fact, if a user or visitor visits the site before the sales start date, they will see the sales landing page, but they will be able to see the pre-sale content that you have set up for them. And of course, the same goes for the sale end date. This is how you can notify people that the sale has ended and that you know they should keep a lookout for future sales. And maybe you can even collect email, email addresses then. Cool, so one other thing that, that is important to note is that in Sitewide Sales, you can actually set up a banner. And a banner will appear on your website and it will allow people to click through to the sales landing page and actually complete a checkout. So this is why it's really important to make sure you have your sale start date set up as well as your sale end date. Once you're done, go ahead and save your settings. And there is the first step of setting up Sitewide Sales. In the next video, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to set up a sale type and the discount code that needs to be applied to your sale.